So I'm out here in South Carolina, um, and it's actually a pretty dope uh, place to be because um, the rate is pretty much the same as Wilmington, but you get more um, you more rides and the pay is higher. But it's only on the weekends because during the week it's kind of crappy. But it's been solid. But the one thing that gets me though, I thought the Wilmington people were obnoxious. I'm not trying to be Mr. Complainer, you know, what, the, what people call me, Mr. Complainer, um, you know, don't want to do my job guy. Um, but these people make your life hell because they don't have any consideration for your time. Um, as I just showed you guys in that previous video, um, these passenger or these, these this customer with Spark, I was doing like a 11, um, 11 drop off, um, $65 Spark order. You know, they're, the orders here are crazy high. So I was doing this order and the person had their number and they put on the app numbers on the door. And I'm like, dude, you have a bush in front of your door. So like, how big of an idiot are you to like, like these people, that was like the, that was like the second one, the second worst situation out here. Like these people don't have the consideration to put their address in the door. And it's like, I think that the people that choose not to put their address on their door should literally be dragged out the house and, you know, held, you know, literally like put in front of the, the, the town center and, and just smack to death. No, I'm joking. It ain't, it ain't that serious. I don't wish death on these people. But, but yeah, these people, they literally, this woman had her address behind a bush, you know, on a door, on the lower bottom of the door. Like, how is that going to help me? And then none of the other neighbors had addresses. So I had to literally get out the car and walk to like four different houses before I realized that where I was at. Because the addresses like skipped. They went from like every four to like two and then her address was just right here. And I'm like, dude, like, bruh, come on now. Um, and then I had the first one was these apartments out here. I didn't realize this. I'm South Carolina. What they do is they'll have um, the address, but they'll put the address of the complex. Like the complex has one address. So instead of putting building number, you know, in the notes, building number 500, they don't put nothing but their address. I mean, their apartment number. So they'll put um, um, apartment number five. 601 or 5 5031 so that means you know third floor um building 500 but you want to know that if because you know i'm from north carolina and you don't have idiotic uh, situations like that to where you know most people just have you know building numbers addresses but instead um so the lady i call her like hey um how do i get to your place she's like oh um i'm like i need your apartment um, building number she's like oh I, um, I don't know it I'm like bruh and I'm like okay um, how do I find you if I pull in where do I go she's like um, all you do is you, you park right in front of the mailbox I'm right in front of it I'm like okay easy so I pull the mailbox is right as soon as you pull into the complex I pull to the front of the mailbox like getting her package out she calls me like hey I'm over here so I got this guy in the apartment uh, you know that she said she thought she was at he's yelling like hey she's over she's over there this lady, if the mailbox is right here, ladies this way, all the way down, like you gotta drive to get to her. I'm like, bruh, <laughs> like you said you're in front of the mailbox. And then, you know, she didn't have any type of comprehension on I can't find your building if you just give me the apartment number. Yes, if I'm from South Carolina, which most people are from um, who drive out here, yes, you get used to people who have no consideration for you not knowing how to get to their building or where they're building at. Then on top of that, you gotta drive around the whole complex to find their building because there's no, like the GPS doesn't take you to the buildings. You gotta literally drive to each building and like just go around and keep searching and the buildings like numbers jump out here. It's just crazy. And you know, you don't get any extra compensation for your time. Like these deliveries take longer because you know, it's more complex. Now I'm, I'm pretty sure once I get, if I get used to the city, which I won't be driving out here too much longer, I'll probably come back maybe once a month to grind out here because the money is good. But um, yeah, in the long run, I'll make good money. But for now, it's um, you know, kind of so-so. But I'm still doing twenty-five, thirty dollars an hour. Okay. So and it's warm out here. So my son, he was okay with me leaving for you know a few weeks because as i told y'all in the last video previous video um i want to make ten thousand dollars by the end of this month okay that way i don't have to work for a solid that's three months of bills so i got three months cushion but then next month i'll um 
start school uh, beginning of December and then I'll be able to finish school without working other than a couple hours and then I can um, you know start get into that cybersecurity career now of course I know with that boot camp I'm taking I won't know everything it's not even you know I just get certifications for certain things that will allow me to just start with you know the, I guess the bottom feeder, uh, feeder companies that you know I can make more than um, make with Uber and Lyft because I guess once I uh, or with Lyft and DoorDash because I guess once I start um, you know working with these companies they train you and, and improve your skills now of course uh, I don't know all about it you know more so about it I just um, uh, just a recruiter you know talking to a recruiter and talking to a couple tech people um, this is the option that I think is best for me so I can know if I you know I can get a feel for um, if I want to do it or not because of the fact I might not have it to do it now of course I'm going to finish that program and I'm gonna know how to do it so I can at least start working on it but I don't know if this is something I'm gonna love forever you know but it's better than doing right sure so um, as I said before, no more of me making, you know, these, these, I got goals. I got goals now. My only goal right now is 10K. That's all I'm focused on. No more doing like 10 goals, like different things. I got to keep it kind of straightforward for now. And then once I get straight and I finish this month off, then I can go and start branching out. But yeah, I put too much on the pla on my table. I tried to like, um, I tried to do it for the people who don't even, aren't even realistic in, you know, where I should be at you know people that think I should have a bachelor degree and it's been three months and I don't have it, anything to show for where I'm at so those are the people I'm not gonna um, no longer even um, reference or or um, um, respond to I'm gonna just let them talk um, I'm gonna just do me and continue doing this and I hope you guys enjoy because this is the content you're gonna get and I got a lot more surprises to come and um, yeah, I'm gonna, my biggest thing is, um, as I put in the last video, I'm going to um, set up um, with StreamYard to where I can have you guys come on and we can start doing chats while we're, while I'm driving. And um, yeah, I think it'd be interesting. I think it'd be fun. Um, but, you know, I keep telling you guys these different timetables and this, now I'm not giving you guys no more timetables. I'm just gonna do it. I'm just put it out here. And if those who want it, want it, I don't care if it's just 10 of us who's on it. Um, you know, 10 people, we're gonna have fun as 10 people. Um, that's all that matters. You know, I don't really care at this point, as you guys can see, you know, um, the money, I don't, um, YouTube doesn't make or break me. You know, I'm trying to focus on this right now and in the future, I'm hoping that I can do something with YouTube. But for now, it's about the guaranteed cash so I can move forward because, you know, that, that, that trying to make YouTube work set me back also because I spent too much time doing YouTube and my numbers were still going down and it was costing me money from work at the same time. So that's the video. I might go live later tonight. Depends on how the day is going. If it's busy, then I'll um, uh, post it. And that way you guys know I am going to go live later. If not, for sure, 100%, I'm going to go live tomorrow because I have plenty of time. But today um, should be a busy day for me, I'm hoping. Uh, Thursday, but if it's slow, I'm gonna go live for like a couple hours, the last couple hours of doing Spark, and then um, for sure tomorrow I'll do some live. But that's the video, that's all I got for now, I'm out, peace.